everyone, it's Michelle. Hey, it's really great to see you guys again. Thank you so much for stopping by and spending just a little bit of your time with me. If you're new to my channel, a great big welcome. And if you're returning, a great big thank you. And if you are new to my channel and you're wondering what it's all about, it's about fashion and styling for mature women. We're having lots of fun. We're not taking it too seriously. We are definitely rejecting and throwing out all the stereotypes that we've been told for mature women, how to dress and how to wear certain styles and so forth. Having said that, I do give styling tips and styling guidelines, but it's entirely up to you whether you use them or not. If you're a dedicated follower of fashion, not fashion trends, just enjoying fashion like I am, you might like to join our tribe. You might like to subscribe. Go down below this video. There is a red subscribe button there. Hit that button and there's a little bell there for notifications of when these videos come out. And I would absolutely love a thumbs up for a like. Today's video is a thrifting video. I've been out in the thrift shops again lately and I'm going to take you with me. You can come thrifting with me and then I'll show you my mini haul. I didn't buy a lot this time because there's slim pickings out there at the moment. So I'll do a try on. Yeah, I won't just hold them up. I'm going to do a try on and show you what I bought. So firstly, let's hit the thrift store. Take you there. 
bow peplum here in the front. It doesn't go all the way around the back, this design here in the front. Great dress for hiding tummy. It's just like a video I did recently about tops. It has this bow peplum with a pleat here in the front and a frill that runs all the way down the side. Another dress with a really interesting design. I don't usually wear big prints, but being navy and white, I didn't think it was too over the top. And how about the neckline? Isn't that gorgeous? I think that's really creative. I love that look. It's um, giving me the shoulder exposure, which I think adds a little bit of sassiness to it. It's even crossed over here in the front. You can see this sort of like a crossover. And as I said, a faux peplum. I just love it. I think it's a really creative design. It's fully lined. The label I'm not aware of. I didn't know the label and I paid about five or six dollars for it. Fits me perfectly. Usually I'm not into big prints. I don't think it's too bold though. And talking about prints, I know a lot of you steer away from prints and I don't own a lot of prints in my wardrobe either. I've said this in past videos. I've done videos about this. Big bold prints will make you look bigger. I'm seeing this in lots of other videos recently. Well, I'm not going to say I said it first, but I did a lot of videos about that. Big bold prints will make you look bigger, but not all prints will. I happen to believe that some prints are actually very beneficial. The idea with prints is because they're so busy, they can camouflage lumps and bumps. I'm not opposed to prints at all. Although most of my wardrobe is solid colors, stripes, spots, solid colors. I'm not opposed to a small print. I think they're extremely helpful in camouflaging. Just because you keep hearing that big bold prints are gonna make you look bigger, it doesn't mean all prints will. So keep that in mind. In fact, I think they're quite forgiving, particularly if the fabric is clinging. If the fabric's hugging more and clinging to you more, the lumps and bumps will show up a lot more in a solid color than they will with a small print. Oh, I'm breaking a rule here, aren't I? I'm wearing horizontal stripes. It's okay because I'm quite small up the top. I'm pear-shaped. It's not often that I can find a blazer that fits me well. And this one does a cotton jersey fabric. I like these round panels here, these darts here in the front that give it quite a lot of shape and definition and these little side pockets. I thought that was an interesting design. I also like the decorative black buttons. They're like a jewel cup button. Things are cute blades. It fits well, can't go wrong, black and white, easy to style up. I just wanna love you. Oh, oh, I just wanna love you. might look a little bit plain but it's actually pure silk it's a very fine crepe silk and the label is a good label in Australia it's from Marks Marks is one of my favorite labels I love the ruffles here on the sleeve they're really soft and feminine and the peach color is really pretty it is very see-through as you can see so I probably should wear a little kemi underneath it there's the back with the frill sleeves on it four dollars pure silk, couldn't resist and I don't own any peach tops. Found myself another blazer, it's Barkins. Do I know Barkins? Is that, where's that from? <laughs> I don't think I know that label. 
For any of you that watch my videos, you'll know I'm a blazer lover and I'm always on the hunt for a blazer that fits and I haven't had much luck lately. I don't mind this one. It's only got a hook and eye here. There's no um, button. The pockets are real pockets, not bow pockets. Oh, I feel like Dr. Michelle in this. <laughs> That's the problem with white blazers, isn't it? It is fitted so it's not boxy like a clinical one. And I like it. Has a tuxedo lapel here in the front. A little pleat here in the back, giving it some room here in the back with a pleat in it. There's quite a bit of design in this um, blazer. You probably, because it's white, you might not be able to pick that up. Nice cotton drill, fully lined. Really do think I'm going to get some wear out of this blazer, and I think this was eight dollars. I think it's pretty stylish, and I think for eight dollars, I'm definitely going to get some wear out of it. Being cotton's a plus as well. It's just that perfect transseasonal blazer. I gotta say, this was an impulse buy. <laughs> I saw the sparkles. I saw the sequins. I saw the sparkles. I'm like a bird. <laughs> just got attracted to it. Velour sequin, tracky top or bomber jacket style. <laughs> it's very cute. I just got attracted to that royal blue sequins. Royal blue being one of my favorite colors to wear and combined with sequins, I thought, woohoo. <laughs> I think it'll look best with some stylish tracky pants or some sort of cargo um, toned down, not up, down. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if I'll ever wear it. Um, it's fun and it fits. Definitely have to watch impulse buying, but four dollars didn't break the bank. Who knows? I might wear it. I might just wear it. <laughs> Gotta say, I love the blue. I do really love the blue sequins. I did pay more for this dress than I'd normally pay, but it's pure silk. This is all crepe silk, this asymmetrical, interesting, gorgeous hemline. And the whole dress is a satin silk. It's quite a class act, this dress. It's not everyone's color, but I happen to quite like orange. There's a lot of detail in this dress. I'm trying to show There's you. pin tucks here on the bust. They're all pin tucked. It's got a higher satin like ribbon panels here under the bust and through here. This is such an interesting design of a dress. When I take it off, I'll have a look and tell you which label it is. It's a good label and that's why I paid the $15 for it. And hey, pure silk, come on, <laughs> $15 is pretty good. This dress is review. In Australia, I love Review. It's one of my favorite labels. It's a little bit too tight for me. It might need a bit of shapewear, this dress. It's quite stretchy and it is pretty figure hugging. But one of the reasons I love Review is they do a lot of vintage looking clothing, vintage inspired, 1950s and 1940s vintage inspired clothing. I paid five dollars for this dress and retail this would have been way over two hundred dollars review isn't economical it's not budget by any means sadly yeah it is too tight for me because as i told you recently i have gained weight i'm working on it wow it's really hard to get it off isn't it but it's a great dress it's a really gorgeous vintage inspired 1950s dress for five dollars it's such a deal Oh, the gorgeous orange dress, Karen Millen. Beautiful dress. Hey, you gorgeous people. Thank you so much for watching my video today. Hope to see you again quite soon. Have a great day, everyone. Bye-bye now.